off as a normal day at Columbus Ag Racetrack took a devastating turn for the worst. Professional jockey Zachary Ziegler, who lives in Grand Island, was riding his horse when its hoof clipped the foot of the horse in front of him, throwing him from the horse's back and causing the horse to roll on top of him. As the horse tried to get back on its feet, it trampled on Zach's neck, leaving him unconscious. I grew up on the racetrack, so I've seen a lot of these accidents. Um... I knew when he wasn't moving, we were probably in trouble. Zach's wife, Carrie, says she and her children witnessed the incident. Immediately jumping into action, Carrie and officials at the track called for help. Zachary was airlifted to the trauma center at Brian West Hospital in Lincoln. Now, with all this CAT scans and everything, he did have a brain bleed, which is under control and fixed. Um, he has severe bruising on the right side of his brain and a spot on the back side of his brain as well. Rob tells me Zach's scans also show multiple bone fractures, but given the nature of the sport, it's hard to tell whether they were old or caused by the incident. Carrie says their children visited their dad the next day. She says their 15-year-old daughter is taking it especially hard. She's a big daddy's girl, so she needed to be here to see him to know that he was okay or, you know, as okay as possible. Carrie says the couple's younger sons, ages seven and 13, are ready for their father to come home. Carrie says Zach has begun to respond to some commands, but it's a long road ahead. Carrie has set up a GoFundMe page for medical fees as well as support for the children. So far, $9,000 have been raised by those who have heard Zach's story. And we just wanna thank everybody for their prayers, their support, you know, all their thoughts, because it does mean the world to me, my children, um, my family, his family, and him once he is awake and aware. Right now, doctors are just waiting on Zach to respond to treatment and open his eyes. Carrie tells me that the next step is trying to wean him off the ventilator. All right, Chanel.